Welcome to another video. Today I want to just briefly talk to you about extensions and recently it was reported that once again malicious extensions were discovered in the Google Chrome Web Store. This is not the first time this has happened and I definitely believe this will not be the last time but these extensions were being used to spy on users. Now initial reports put the number of extensions around 80 and then later reports put it to well over 100. And the bigger number was these extensions had been downloaded 32 to 33 million times. So there were a lot of people, a lot of users using these extensions. We know that they were being used as spyware and the data they were collecting could have been anywhere from browsing history to login credentials, which would be really bad. And so this stuff is actually very serious. For those of you who follow my channel, you know I've mentioned many, many times, remove all extensions. The only exception I would even consider would be if you have an extension for a password manager or password keeper. All other extensions I would remove. Now I know a lot of people, they, they really like their extensions, not just because it adds customization, but because there's real benefits as far as productivity and simplicity. It's very convenient to have an extension just right there on the browser to use at all times. But it's important to understand that there's real risk with using extensions and that in most situations, there's always a better alternative. Yes, it may not be as convenient or quick or snappy. You may actually have to use a website as a solution or just other options but there almost always is an alternative, a safer option than using in an extension. Now, lots of people have said if you just stick to well-reviewed, well-known, reputable extensions, you don't have to worry about this. Well, that's not necessarily true because first off, a legitimate company can create an extension and then push, push the limits of what they're using it for. We've seen many legitimate companies collect data on their users. Additionally, any legitimate piece of software can be hijacked or exploited by a bad actor, a hacker, you know, looking for a way or a weakness in the browser. The best option is to just remove them. Now, I know a lot of people really like their ad blockers, and I've said it before and I'll say it again. A great alternative to ad blockers is this option right here, the Brave web browser, because it has standard settings for blocking and privacy built right into the browser no extensions needed or required and so as always i will definitely link this browser down below it is free but that's just one example of how there are always better alternatives to using an extension that's everything for this video just short and sweet but i do just again want to say please remove your extensions off your browsers if you have any comments or questions please post them down below Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.